Welcome to a further update from Force 13 on Tropical Cyclone CO5A Lubin. This is the life of the uh, system. Uh, the Tropical Cyclone is located 337 nautical miles east south east of Sadala Oman. Tracking west or press at seven knots over the last six hours. Current position is 14 decimal one degrees north, 59 decimal one degrees east. Maximum sustained wind 65 knots at gusting 80. Uh, coming up is the Joy Typhoon Warning Center's current track chart. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery indicates a consolida consolidating and intensifying system with a developing eye feature beginning to reveal itself as at 10 Zulu with deep convection wrapping into a cloud covered low level circulation. Now we have a look at the NOAA floaters. Environmental analysis reveals that tropical cyclone CO5 is located in an overall favourable upper level environment. Strong radial outflow provided by a point source in the vicinity, low 10 to 15 knots vertical wind shear, sea surface temperatures seems to be the primary limiting factor with temperatures currently near 27 to 28 degrees Celsius. Reflecting off upwelling as the system has slowly drifted northwest over the past 48 hours and is currently moving slowly northwest in a weak steering environment. This weak steering pattern is expected to continue for the next 36 hours, allowing the system to drift slowly towards the west northwest as steering which over India strengthens and pushes the system westward. By 36 hours, the steering which over Saudi Arabia will ridge eastward to the north of the tropical cyclone allowing the system to turn onto a more westward track accelerating after 48 hours due to the upwelling of cool waters to the surface and the slow forecast movement intensity is expected to remain steady at 70 knots by the 36 hour mark with a short period of weakening at the 48 hour mark. Now here's a look at tracks and intensity guidance. Tropical Cyclone Lubin forecast to intensify as it moves into water waters and equatorward outflow improves. The system is expected to make landfall to the northeast of Mugala. Apology for the pronunciation, Yemen, around the 100 hour mark and rapidly weakened due to dry air entrainment and terrain interaction. However, model guidance is highly uncertain with a, love, with a large bifurcation in the model trackers, especially beyond the 48 hour mark, indicate a landfall near the Yemen Oman border region by 96 hours. Now we have a look at the HWRF one of two models. Confidence in the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's forecast track is low due to the bifurcation in the model guidance, maximum wave height is 20 feet. And the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre is doing uh, six hourly updates. 
now we have a look at the uh, wind shear, the red's unfavourable, the green's favourable, yellow is neutral and the joint typhoon warning centre said uh, low 10 to 15 knots vertical wind shear. The uh, 24 hour shear tendency and tropical systems love the area in blue. The white is increasing, the blue is decreasing and as I mentioned in my earlier update, uh, tropical system love uh, the blue as I just stated. However, 850 went above vorticity. This is one of my favourite images and it's updated regularly. Now we have a look at total precipitable water and you can clearly see where the two tropical cyclones are uh, Leuven and the one to the east is Titley and finally in this update one of three and the next one should be on Titley then the Hurricane Michael over there in the Gulf of Mexico Pivotal Weather website, it's a GFS precipitation model. The scale is at the bottom of the screen and what I look for is the area in yellow through to a dark brown. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name Force 13 and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord Fool 13 at extension 9094.